Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube, and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Friday, and we're going to start picking What's Old for us today. Hello, friends. I did want to thank a few viewers for buying us some coffees. Uh, Bar bought us three coffees, said she watches all of our videos, has learned so much, and learning the spreadsheet now. Thanks so much. Awesome. Thank you, Barb. Yeah, Barb, thanks so much for the support. And then Tiffany bought us five coffees and said, today marks one full month since I started back reselling full force uh, since awesome. my daughter was a baby. She's 20 now. Well. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> um, I wanted to give you five coffees for a five-star review. I'm incredibly thankful for the spreadsheet, <laughs> cataloging ideas, and brand suggestions you both give. I'm just shy of 1400 my first month back and uh -huh. recently being laid off from a corporate job. It's a big help. You remind me so much of a couple we consider good friends of ours, so watching you is like watching a friend. The encouragement <laughs> to continue is a blessing and want to take this day to bless you as well. Awesome. Thank you so much, Tiffany. Tiffany, thank you so much. Just a little break and then reselling, yeah, right? That's <laughs> getting back in after 20 years. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm, so. I'm sure things are completely different nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't so. that like back when eBay, you just... You had to actually put a mail check checks and stuff, yeah. And there's no tracking or anything. Send cash but, by yeah, envelope. Yeah, I totally sent your item. <laughs> I can't even yeah. imagine. <laughs> that. Also, 20 years ago, we were just like children, <laughs> like tiny children. That's yeah. crazy. Thank you guys so much for that yeah, support. Thank you so much for that support. All righty. We had a fun, eventful morning. Well, we just went thrifting all day, so we're kind of behind on the shipping and stuff. Yeah, I'm beat. I'll tell you. I mean, <laughs> I only went sourcing with Kathy for, I don't know what. Three hours, maybe? <laughs> yeah, I know. Well, we got some, like, brown chapter dropping the kids off to school because they've been off two days for snow day, and then our yeah. other son was sick at the beginning of the week, so he was off school pretty much this whole week. Yeah. Uh, so it was just like, okay, we get to <laughs> have a break, get some breakfast, go yeah. thrifting a little. Yeah. And I think, yeah, we thrifted two, three hours, but we found a lot of stuff, but I guess... It's not what he's used to, so he's more tired than yeah. I am. I'm like, I'm gonna go back out after we get the kids from school. I'm like, after ow, my bank. back, ow, my back. Yeah. So, um, one thing I sold was this Nike. It's just like a girl's short and tank top set. New tag. I purchased this for five dollars retail arbitrage. Sold it for fifteen on Poshmark. So I'm making about a seven dollar profit. So not huge, but I did have uh, at least three, three or four of these. So. When they all sell, I'll probably have made 35 to 40 bucks profit. Yeah. Super easy to just ship out. That was posh, so probably going to stick that in one of these cute little boxes. The little foldy boxes. All right. And then a G. This is a Vineyard Vines Kids flannel. I... Don't remember where I bought this, but it was my son's he wore for Christmas time. And I sold it on Kittism for $20.90 with free shipping. So making back the shipping cost four fifteen, probably making back $14 or so after fees. Okay. Which I probably spent, you know, 15 to 18, I would say, on that. So yeah. making back a good chunk of it. And we'll send that out in a jungle mailer. Alrighty. Uh viewer sale. Grab it. Going out to Oh Dallas. I feel like you said I said it right last time, and I think that's how I said it. So, <laughs> Oh Dallas, thank you so much. Oh, she wanted to give Reese some tummy, some tummy rubs. You want some tummy rubs? Can I see your tummy? You want some? Then he's always ready for some tummy rub. Does it go boy? <laughs> so. I'll give you some too. I'll give you those tummy rubs. Oh, that's a good boy. Sorry to wake you. <laughs> um, so this is just a Nike swim trunk. I also got this retail arbitrage. I have 581 into them. I had several of these. I think I have two more after this. But uh, Odalis bought this for $20 with discount shipping on Posh. So about close to a $9 profit here. Awesome. Thank you so Thank much you so for that much. support. Yeah. And, and if we are saying your name wrong, I know. <laughs> yeah, I think we're saying yeah. it right. But let us know. Um, I wrapped some Tyvek envelopes from the post office. I also placed an order. Even though I was like, I'm not ordering anymore, <laughs> but I guess, I guess I am. So. All right. And that's that. And then this Magnolite pot. So these were the two that we talked about a few months back saying, well, Chris was worried that they weren't like legitimate or something because- Right, they don't have the engraving right. or- like on the 
the bottom yeah. like yeah. most magnites do. So I don't know. I don't think they're. I think we figured out maybe they're just. I like they went out of business or something. And, and someone maybe, else was making the yeah. line, but it's still the same pot or so, something. Yeah, it's definitely a good pot. So yeah. I just went ahead and relisted them. And one of them already sold for 20 plus shipping. I have 350 into it. So yeah. glad to sell it. Um, we have one more left. And yeah. Uh, those actually fit nicely in these shoe boxes, the little pots. Yeah. So just the one quart. So wrap them up with some of that brown paper and good to go all right box k this one just came in a few minutes ago all right these are one size bigger i would have kept them these are all birds these are like my favorite shoes super easy to just slip on very comfortable your favorite shoes to wear yeah yeah um all birds specifically these like slip on loungy ones mm. so they make you know lace-ups and different kinds but these are my favorite but i picked these up Looks like I averaged my cost of goods this day because it says 1103 is what I paid, which that's not a normal price at any thrift mm. store. So, um, yeah, 1103, someone offered 50 and I accepted. So I make 40. Very happy with that. Yeah, very nice. That was posh. Let's do a regional B, maybe, or a mm, medium maybe flat a medium rate. Medium flat, yeah. Another Poshmark sale that just came in. And I think I just relisted this with Posh or VA like yesterday or the day before. Yeah. These are some Levi's orange tabs, so like a vintage USA made. Just jeans. You can see only. the orange tab? Yeah. So I don't buy all Levi's. I do pick up the ones usually that say made in the USA. Yeah. Um, so yeah, these ones I paid $9.99 for. They sold for $47 with discount shipping. So very happy with that. Yeah. They did sit a few months though, and then as soon as I relisted, they um, they sold. And <laughs> as I was printing the label, it reminded me. So I actually just put to relist 25 more while we were recording. You're on the posher VA. Because I I was in a routine of doing that every yeah. day, and I kind of got behind. So I need to remember to do it because I really don't have to do anything other than set it. Yeah. Um, also be on the lookout for silver tab Levi's. Those yeah, are silver tabs. Those are hot right, right now. now from the '90s era. So yep. if you see the silver tabs, those are good ones to pick up. Baggy, right? Yep, forty to fifty is what I've been getting on those. All right, the L is down here. <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm just <laughs> like my brain is. <laughs> A little bit mushy today. Is it because we found a bunch of good stuff at the thrifts today? Maybe. It's all the good <laughs> stuff that I have to... I don't normally wash stuff from regular thrifts because usually yeah. it's pretty clean. Most this of the stuff, stuff we found today was great stuff, but it all has like hair on it. So I definitely yeah. have to wash it and probably lint roll it. And that's not my favorite thing, but it's such good stuff that I got it anyways. I think it's cat hair because I'm feeling, you know, a little... Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allergic to cats. And every once in a while, if I get a hair like in my eye or something, it just like irritates me the whole day. So... <laughs> Anyhow, this is what we <laughs> sold on Mercari. This is that, the brand is Free Fly. I've never sold it before. Only grabbed it because it reminded me of Kiki Pants, which is a kid's clothing brand, although they make adult clothes too, but it's like really soft bamboo, like stretch mm. shirts. Well, the kids is not necessarily shirts, but this is a shirt, but the brand is Free Fly. Um, it's over $18 plus ship. It wasn't in the best shape and it's a smaller men's size, but it sold fairly quickly. So I definitely would pick it up again if I found it. I only paid two bucks for this, so two into 18. I'll take that any day. I'll ship that in a regular mailer. All right, and I was very happy with this next sale, mostly because um, I had just taken off the tag to photograph this. Like I looked it all over like three times and there was no flaws. And then as I get to the back of it to photograph the back, again, the tag's already off at this point, so I can't like reattach it or anything. Um, there's like a big flaw on the back shoulder mm -hmm. and it wasn't like a tear, but like basically the whole seam on the back shoulder is kind of like coming undone. So anyways, I photographed it, circled it, wrote it in the description. But for that reason, I was like, oh, I'll just sell it for 15, 20 bucks. And you know, I paid $3 for it. So just at least make a few dollars profit. Yeah. But on Mercari, I always price stuff super high and let it auto price drop with their feature that they have. And this went all the way down to 
well, I think I started at like 49, which is high with the flaw, especially. It went down to 33 and someone just bought it at that price. So mm. very happy considering the flaw. So three dollars in the 33 plus shipping. Yeah. So yeah, and that's going out UPS. So that because it's over a pound. I'm probably just gonna do a larger mail on that because I don't wanna deal with boxes today because we're a little behind. Okay, and then this was another Mercari sale. Mercari's weird. I'll make like major <laughs> sales at once and then none and then seems kind of like Facebook. I don't know why I can't quit it though. <laughs> I like Mercari. The fee's low. Yeah. Their customer service is not great, but I rarely have to deal with them. So. Mm -hmm. uh, this is Eileen Fisher. Um, this is a, I think it's merino wool. It's definitely wool, 100% cardigan. I picked this up for five dollars and accepted a fifty-seven dollar plus shipping offer on uh, Mercari as well. So that one, I think I can fit in a regular mail or anything. Uh, yeah, I do. I think that'll fit in. Good Valentine. That should fit in a regular mailer. Not too big. All right. Box R. Here's another one where I took the tag off without noticing a flaw. Hmm. But hey, we're not doing death piles anymore. Yeah, so I was just going to comment. Anyways. <laughs> it's good that you got them listed because they both sold, even though they have flaws. Yep. And I'm profiting, so. Yeah. Uh, this one, not so much. It's 511 Tactical. It's a nice, it looks like buttons, but they're actually snaps. I love snaps. Oh, versus yeah, buttons, I remember this one. It was in great shape until I turned it around, and on the back side, like right about here, is a bleach stain. Yeah. So, I mean, bleach, like, plaid is kind of in right now. Maybe he's <laughs> going to turn it all the way, or maybe he just doesn't care. It's honestly kind of blends in with the plaid, which is why I don't think I saw it at first. Yeah. But. Anyhow, I did pay five for this, thinking I could sell it for 25 or so, but with the flaw, I listed at 15 plus ship. We run a sale, so the buyer paid 13.45 plus shipping. Okay. I made about a $5 profit, so about doubling my money there. But yeah. hey, for a stained item, I'm happy. Getting it on its way too. It's not sitting around in inventory or in our closet in a yep. death pile. <laughs> All right, last but not least, a viewer sale going out to Angela. She bought two pairs of shoes, so AV. And DF. Uh, all right, some sketchers and the ortho feet. I think she heard a joke when we were joking about your ortho feet. And she said <laughs> she was excited to try the ortho feet. So. Nice. Uh, yeah, so both pairs, Angela paid $65 plus shipping, and I had nineteen sixty eight into the two pairs. So oh. thank you, Angela, for awesome. another purchase. I hope you're enjoying your yeah. Florida vacation. And yeah, I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. yeah, we're here in the snow. I had to close the window because someone's out there scraping <laughs> something. But thank you so much for that purchase, Angela. Yeah. And hope you're enjoying Florida. Uh, yeah, we're going to get this stuff packed up, and then I think we'll check back in. Yeah. Alrighty, Reesey guy was there for motivating us. We got it all packed up. Pretty easy packing day. Yeah. I, mean, I like those days. <laughs> I mean, I still love shoes the most, but yeah. it's nice when we only have to carry mostly Polly Millers into the post office. So. Yeah, but we did not have any other sales come in, yeah. so that's going to do it. It's about 3.30. It's a perfect time for us to head out and get our boys from school. Cool. Just in time to have two more days home with it. <laughs> Luckily, it'll be the weekend, so I won't yeah. feel as stressed about doing work. You know, it's harder during the weekdays when they have randomly off because then, like, well, I'm not going to get yeah. my work done, which is going to push me back behind, and then yeah. I feel stressed. But actually, got it throws off the groove. We've still been doing good. I mean, I still got all my listings up. It's been nice having them scheduled and not worrying about it. So yeah, like today when we went. Um, to breakfast and thrifting. I had already, my 15 listings already went live before I was even awake, so that was nice. Yeah. And again, these pink ones are just extras that are personal items, so when they sell, I'm breaking even, so I don't want to count them towards my 105 weekly goal because I want to make. Yeah. There's no real big break. profit in those items. Yeah. We're just trying to get our money back. Yeah, sometimes, like all our kids' clothes, I found out the thrift and I'll make five, ten bucks off, but nothing yeah. to write home about. Yeah. So yeah, I might go thrifting again <laughs> tonight just because it's going to be a busy weekend. Chris is going to work on the floor a lot yeah. tomorrow. Yep. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but yeah, we still have to put all this away from yesterday still. So yeah. lots to do, but we can <laughs> wait till next week. 
Yeah, and we did have our, not our first live, but our first of our series of lives that we're going to ha start having every Thursday night. And it didn't crash and burn, <laughs> so that's good. Um, no, we had a great time. Uh, quite a bit of you guys showed up and showed support and asked tons of questions, and it was really awesome. Make sure you put on your calendars every Thursday night, Colorado time, Mountain Time at 8 o'clock p.m. And I don't know, we did an hour and a half. We were kind of talking, maybe bumping it up to two hours. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll keep that. It's as long as I can get a potty break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, potty breaks <laughs> needed. <laughs> but um, yeah, if uh, if we want we might end up bumping it up to two hours because we had such a great time a lot of great turnout and stuff so excited to see what happens with that i'm gonna try to make things better as far as production getting microphones and all that so it should be a little bit better every week and um we should be more yeah and i did a lot better of for live <laughs> i did a lot of listing instead of really like i couldn't really pay attention yeah. to the chat and list so hopefully some yeah. weeks if we definitely if we bump it up longer um i can answer questions as well while also doing some listening so yeah definitely need to get away to where we can both hear what's going on and see what's going on so that we're both you know i'm not playing kathy's eyes and ears and all that anyway that's going to do it for today guys uh thank you so much for watching thanks for the viewer support and thanks again for showing up to the live last night it was exciting so we'll see you guys in the next one bye